Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On Hack Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop a line in a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I will be happy to make a video for you or provide you the information you need. Or I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing. Now let you decide, now respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add the site chart on the Shopify product page by using the simplest method possible. No meta fields, no complicated stuff you have to do to keep you scratching your head the whole day. No worries. In this video, I will share a complete section with you that you can customize everything on it, set the size chart images for specific products that you want. You can add multiple size charts and specify which product you want to size chart to show up on. And also the pop-up is customizable as well. You can set a description for it, title, and many, many more options. And all of this by using like a buttons. Just click on a button and upload <laughs> the size chart and click on a button again and type in the text you want on the pop-up or the button style or the button background color. And as I said, you can specify which products you want to show a specific size charts. So you can have even each product has its own size chart. And of course, it's gonna be a button, stylish button on the product page that you can customize. And come on, if you are a subscriber of the channel, you already know, I don't share things that will just do the job. I share things that will make your Shopify store stand out and make your Shopify store look very unique, just like you hire some high level developer to customize it. But again, I'll let you check out the channel, I'll let you decide, or actually just keep watching this video and you will see for yourself. And I challenge you actually to find a simpler and better method than this one in this video. But if you lose, you have to click on that like button and leave me a comment below. And if I lose, I will make an update for you. But hey, I'm sure I will never lose. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. Each video adds small customizations, but video 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I reach that level halfway. Check out, for example, the scrolly logos with the fade of the corners, or the recent sales on your Shopify store. Come on, show up. Here it is the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Or even better, you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have five, one product, actually not five, one product added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he did check out and by using your own custom code and it will only show up once the user trying to leave. And I got amazing feedback about this pop-up lately, but I'll let you decide. Again, size chart, I know. So. In this tutorial, I will not do the demonstration on this team. Why? Because it's full of stuff. Check out the product page, for example. Uh, there is no way that, that like the, the size chart button will be lost in here, as you can see. Let me close this one and let me open up Horizon, which we will do demonstration on this one. So, come on, here it is. So, let me open up. We'll do that later. Anyway, so let's just get back in here. The first thing you're going to do is click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots to the left of customize and click on edit code. But as I said, for my case, I'm doing demonstration on Horizon, so I'm gonna do it in here instead. After that, click on Edit Code, then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here on the left panel right here, you will see some files and folders, and simply click on the first folder that says Sections. Because as I said, this is a custom section. So simply click on Sections, and you will see the first option says Add a new section. Then click on it, and it will open up this prompt where you can name the section. And simply name it size-chart-data or data, depends where are you from. So size-chart-data or data. So click on done and it will create some code in here by default and simply clear this, remove the whole code in here. Then the next thing you're going to do, you need to pass in the code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code, then get back. To, I'm just joking. Scroll that description box and you will see a link. My website completely free again. Simply click on a link, download a zip file. As I said, completely free, and it takes time to build this stuff. So I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment below. It will motivate me to share more free things with you guys. But again, for the third time, I'll let you decide. As I said, from my website, completely free, you will download a zip file. Inside it, you will find two dot liquid files. Open the one that says data dash chart dash section. The one that has the word section, this is very important. Make sure to, to open the one that has uh, the word section with any text editor on your computer, copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? Copy and paste. That's the only thing you need in my tutorial. So click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it save it, 
we will get back in here, then access the team editor because we need to add it. So click on customize button. Again, for my case, I'm gonna do it in here. Then on the team editor, we need to switch to the product page because obviously the size chart is added to the product page. So click on home page at the top of the page to switch to the product page. <laughs> and that's funny. So switch to the product page from the drop down in here, see products, then click on the default template you're using for the product. And it will open up the product page in here. The next thing you're going to do is on the left panel right here, below uh, sections in template, simply click on add section. And after that, search for on house size chart, but I already see it as you can see. If you don't see it, simply search for this one, on how size chart. Click on it, then it will open up some settings on the right of the page and nothing will show up on your product page. Don't worry, just hold on for a second to explain everything in here. Then I will show you how to add the button. So first, you will see a lot of settings in here. Check this out. No worries, just these are settings. Just these, <laughs> as you can see. So I have like uh, 10 or 12 settings. So the first one is the default trigger text, which is the text will be on the button that the user has to click on it so it can show him the pop-up with the size chart image. And yeah, the pop-up has description and title and everything, no worries. So uh, you can actually change this if you want. For example, if you have t-shirt, you can add like a t-shirt, like this t-shirt size chart, a button, so you can it will be show up, shown on the product page. And this is the trigger font size. You can actually resize this. I'm gonna keep as 15. And this one is trigger color. I'm gonna keep the text same and hover color same. And below is the button style settings. Because as I said, you can, res you can actually change the design and make it a button. By default, it's not. By default, as you can see, it's text link. So it will be uh, like a, a text, but a clickable. In my case, I'm gonna change to outline and button. I like this one. And I'm gonna keep it transparent, looks good, which will inherit the background color. And this one is background hover color. I'm gonna keep it as default. And this is some settings to uh, actually design the button. In my case, I'm gonna keep them all just as default. I'm gonna enable the shadow effect for the button. And below is the global, is the pop-up resizing options. So, so this is the default one. However, each uh, size chart has its own title on the pop-up. So no, I will show you that in a second. Uh, this is the default one. In case you didn't set it, it will uh, revert back to this one. So this is the model or the pop-up max width. If you have like large, large pictures for the size chart, make sure to increase this one. In my case, I like it around 70, so it looks good. And this is the border radius. You can make the pop-up rounded corners or pointy corners, eight is perfect. By the way, all the options here are perfect. Just try them by default first and see. So the next one is the model background color. This is based on your, your store, which team you are using or the color schemes. And this one is text color, border color, choose button, close button, sorry, close button hover color. I'm gonna keep everything here by default. And this one is the typography setting because as I said, the pop-up actually has text on it, description and as well the title. I'm gonna keep everything as default. So here is the fun part, the size charts. So as you can see, you will see here size chart one, size chart two, all the way to 10. You can add up to 10 size charts and you can pick which product you wanted to show them. If you want to show one size chart, like for example, number one size chart, you want to show it on multiple products, that's very easy. No meta fields, no code editing, nothing like that. Just watch and you will see. So let's just enable this one first. I'm gonna enable enable the size chart, uh, size chart, sorry. And as I said, this one will override the model title or the pop-up title. So let me add a uh, shirt because I wanna add it on shirt, shirt size chart. And below, I'm gonna select the image for the size chart. And here is, I have one actually for a hoodie. It doesn't matter, just for demonstration. This is a size chart, as you can see. And below, this is the tag. This is the fun part again. So with tag, we will specify which products this size chart will show up on. For example, if I want this size chart to show up on like two products or three products, I'm gonna add here a specific Tag. Let's just do shirt, for example. If you want to add multiple tags, you can do so. Simply add a comma and add the other one. I did give an example here so you can understand. Let me clear the comma because I'm going to use just one. And below is the size uh, chart description. I'm going to add like t-shirt size chart description. Yeah, and this is just one size chart. There is 10. So <laughs> let me show you just one what, can, what, what it can do. So we add a side chart. Now let's just click on save. Now we need to add the button. Where, how, very easy. 
Simply on the left panel right here, you will see product information. Click on it to be expanded and simply pick where you want to add the button. Below the product description, above the product description, below the buy it now, above the buy it now where you want to add it. In my case, I'm going to add it below the buy it now. Simply hover where you want to add it, click on add block, then search for custom and you will see the option custom liquid. Click on it and it will show you on the right of the page some empty space where you can paste in some code. And where are you going to get that code? You need to hire a developer again. I'm just joking. On the zip file you download, the second file that says custom liquid block. Not the section, custom liquid block. Open it with any text editor on your computer. Copy the whole code inside it. Then simply paste it in here. That was very simple again, right? Copy and paste. So click on save button. And if you scroll up again, it will not show up. Why? Because we need to specify which product you want to show that specific size chart that we did add right now. And to do so, that's very simple. Get back to Shopify dashboard, then simply navigate to the product where you want to add it. In my case, I have a t-shirt, which is this one right here. So I want to add the size chart below the buy it now button for this product only. To do so, get back to Shopify dashboard, and search for the shirt product. Search for the product where you want to add size chart, this one, and simply add the exact same tag you did set for the size chart, which is in our case is shirt. As you can see, add this exact tag to any specific product, and that specific product would show this specific size chart. That's very simple, right? Let me do that in demonstration so you can see. Shirt, click on shirt, enable it, make sure it's here as you can see, then click on done. Okay, it's added. Now we will get back to the product, reload the page and see if it will show up. So let's just reload the page. It didn't, cache takes some like couple of seconds. Come on, here it is. I reloaded the page four times. So four, four times. So make sure to double check, reload the page or even open the page in, in new private window and it will work. As you can see, it shows the button for the t-shirt and if I click on it, it will show me the pop-up with the specific size chart that I did share. And this is the description that we did type in, the title and so on, as you can see. And it closed in a smooth way, as you saw. It's, it shows up in a smooth way and it closes in a smooth way. And if I scroll down and click on any product from here, it will not show the size chart button. If you want to add it to this button, to this product as well, sorry, just navigate to the product from here and add the same tag to that product and it will show up on. And if you want to add different size chart to different products, I added 10 here. So <laughs> the same exact step you have to do for uh, other options because I have 10 size chart for this section. And I think I want the challenge now. So scroll down, click on like button, and leave me a comment. I don't reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. And if you want, and you think you want, send me the video and I'll do an update for you. But for now, that's how you add a size chart to specific products that you want by the easiest method possible. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.